love this rock is the sled dog today i wanted to talk about wilderness like why i really like the wilderness a lot so about making this video i was kind of stumbling upon the idea and i was thinking you know i do a lot of my videos out in the wilderness and in certain areas that are away from the city or in beautiful areas such as this place um so it's a emotional connect and disconnect from society meaning that i can get out and i can do and i don't want to say freely do what i can but i can be okay with being in this certain area and not have any not judgment feelings but i just like the atmosphere and the surroundings that i have around here even though i don't have but only beautiful areas and sceneries. And you know, where I feel I belong. It's like a natural habitat. Being out in the wilderness, it really helps me, you know, meet with who I am and be somebody who I'm not afraid to be. And that's just joyous, wild, and really excited to explore and be, you know, the little adventurer that I am. So it's a big world. It's, you know, you've, you've got tons of places you can go and check out. There's tons of areas you can go and hike and just break away. And that's exactly what I like to do. I like to, you know, kind of just uh, be like, I don't know. It, it really, you know, you, you get to explore yourself. You get to know your limits. You get to, uh, experience so much and it's really cool because i mean it's it's a it's a it's 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 mind-blowing <laughs> it's it's re it really is it, it's mind-blowing it's so cool there's so much thing um ever since i moved out here you know experiencing snow experiencing the heat experiencing the rain experiencing you know storms and beautiful areas to windy and you know having a tripod fall on me you know you really get to settle and know so much and it's so cool because you can know yourself and know your boundaries and and it's not all too you know you get to see and experience with just being on your own and having a calm set of mind and go back to reality and be like i want to go back to that or you could be in reality and say you want to just be back here and you know it just be endless it's just awesome it really is i love nature i absolutely try my hardest to do nothing but get out and stay out because i'm not saying i'm not a people person i'm not saying that i don't like the city i just like to have a moment where i'm not at work and just go for a drive and what it all is is just a privilege it's it's a it's a beautiful privilege that we are all given and i think we should take every ounce that we can just to get out and explore and become physical to do all this cool stuff not say physical as in like you know trying to you know be in shape and do all this stuff but physical as in physically coming out here and checking out some of the things that literally are either in your backyard or a drive away or you know a bike ride away or something like that to get to a destination where you can break away and be you and even if that is not your space it's not made for everybody and that's totally fine because to be honest with you it's worth something visiting just saying you know when i was in california i would visit the beach i would visit big bear i would go and snowboard i would go and do a lot of things just to try and you know get the gist of figuring out what i'm comfortable with or what i'm not comfortable with and what i didn't find comfortable with was being in the compact city i've got friends that like to be in cities but it's just not that tight and that's fine so we all have our comfort zones we all you know are different we are we all are unique of course i believe in that and that's no problem so you just gotta find who you really are and the wilderness for me i could only say is it's just like wow it's awesome and coming from here being in northern arizona you know
know, you have a bunch of different types of smells. You have a bunch of different types of hiking locations that are just endless. No joking. Hundreds of miles of trees. And you can just get lost in there. That's that's my click. That's, that's something that I love to go and adventure with. And unfortunately will be sad when, it, when the sun sets. But I'll watch it because that's my favorite time of day also. <laughs> so... Needless to say, you know, whenever I get time off of work, I always try and just get out. And I try to make videos as well too because it makes me so happy and it makes me so, it just, it, it's so full of life. And I really want to be that person that completely can be full of life. So, uh, viewers and, and other people like that, you know, it, it's just super great to have, you know, people that are like, wow, you know, we could share similar interests or you know I didn't know until this video was made and that's why I'm here <laughs> um, so the wilderness is a big breakaway for me because when I was kind of discovering myself as well too um, it didn't you know really come to me until I first witnessed it uh, you know when I was in sixth grade camp we were doing a lot of hiking and stuff like that we went to Creekside. I think that's what it's called. It was like sixth grade camp or something like that. It was like Creek Hill or Creekside or something like that. And it first time snowed there too. Um, aside from the snowboarding video that I was doing, it also snowed there too. So I was like, wow, this is so cool. And um, just really experiencing the lights out and actually becoming like, you know, like an animal. Like you had to trust your instincts. And it was really cool because, you know, it was a disconnect. We didn't have like phones. We didn't have, you know, like the GoPros or the tripods or, you know, much of stuff, but it was a breakaway. And, you know, when, when you discover that breakaway, it's, it's so cool. Cause you're like, you're, you're like worry free. You have zero worries and all you're worrying about is just you and a trail. And it's, it's, it's soft. It's awesome. Honestly, if you guys ever get to have a chance, go for a hike, get out and really, you know, check out some beautiful locations, go out for a drive, go out for a bike ride. You know, this, I hope it encourages you to, you know, check out new locations and, you know, really see what the world is out there for. Cause there's a lot of things. And with today's technology with Google Maps and all this other fun stuff, it's unlimited. From how it used to be, it's like <laughs> way better than how it used to be. But aside from that, guys, um, I continue to want to show and do more videos out there. I, I literally, I have so many places where I, I really want to go and try out. I really want to head out. My goal, I would love to bucket list to like, like Alaska. I want to go to Switzerland. Um, where else would I like to go? I'd like to go into more states too. I haven't gone to Colorado yet, so that's another one. Um, and aside from the fur cons as well too, also, there's tons that I want to visit just for like a, like just to see maybe once or twice, like how cool it is and everything like that experience wise so that I can say I went. <laughs> but as far as, you know, cons go, there's a lot of locations and places and things that I really do want to try and you know more hiking trails and I still it's so big here it's it's humongous so there's tons of things that I also as well want to do myself and need to get back into shape too even though I might kind of look like it I am not in shape it's just been three years of like gummy bears and oh blue jay hey it's uh, gummy bears, Mountain Dew, uh, I don't think I've done Mountain Dew, or was it, no it was Powerade, right, Powerade, um, what was I having last night too, yep, yeah, my job just, <laughs> it's making me a little bigger, so I'm like, I need to get out and do some running and stuff like that, <sighs> but uh, being in first, it kind of like, takes all of that out because it's like super hot but not right now but you know I can but uh, yeah. as far as you know uh, breaking away and getting out in the wilderness um, 
it's not for attention. It's it's not for you know getting out. You're doing it for yourself. Um, you really get to see what's around you. Bring some binoculars. Bring you know like a trail and guide and compass so that you know where you're going. Worst case, bring your phone because if you do have service, you never know where you can find civilization. Plus, Google Maps also does work if you don't have service. I've also learned this too. Um, but it's always good to be safe where you're going and make sure you don't go hiking at night unless it's either with friends or camping or whatnot. That's another thing I want to do is camp. Bringing up, bringing up ideas when I, when I should be. <laughs> uh, aside from, you know, the wilderness, I really appreciate you guys really checking out my videos. Um, I'm going to end it right here. Um, so if you guys want to like, comment, and subscribe, if you guys want me to do similar videos to this one, let me know. Uh, this, is, this was kind of like an in my own words kind of thing. So I um, really hope I'm doing it right, honestly. <laughs> but to be honest with you, I'd, I'd rather, you know, go non-scripted than doing, you know, than be sounding like a robot and, you know, going off something and not be lively because I really want to show my compassion and care for you know, all my followers and subscribers. So thank you guys so much for checking out my videos. I really thank you all for, you know, sticking out for what the 11 minutes that's already on here. So <laughs> again, guys, I hope you all have a good day. And if you guys want me to do similar videos to this one, let me know in the comment section below. So with that being said, have a good one, guys. Bye.